everyone. In today's video, I'll introduce about NMR spectroscopy. That is nothing but nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. So it is a branch of spe absorption spectroscopy which involves the interaction of radio waves with given substance. That means what here? The substance undergoes interaction with the radio waves related to the electromagnetic region and produces a spectrum. This spectrum is useful for studying the structure of the compound. So mainly we will study about proton NMR spectroscopy. That means this spectroscopy helps in studying the environment related to the protons and it gives a diff detail about different sets of the proton present in the given compound. So let us see the principle of the NMR spectroscopy. So we know we are taking the pro H, pro that means nothing but proton NMR. So proton is having a positive charge. So every charged species behaves like a spinning bar magnet. That means it shows precisions. So it shows it, uh, it uh, when it is undergoing precisions, it produces magnetic field. So when we are keeping this uh, uh, proton in the external magnetic field and we are passing the radio waves, then what happens? It shows two orientations related to the external magnetic field. So first one you can observe this is the alignment with the uh, field that means similar alignment with the external field and you can see this is opposed alignment with the external field that means what beginning it has a low energy so it shows same alignment with the external field after some time it absorbs energy and moves to the next energy level and there it shows opposed alignment here it is in higher state higher excited state it is unstable in nature so what will happen again it returns back to the low energy state and shows same alignment with the external magnetic field this process of uh, transition from one level to another level so the proton is transferring from one level to another level this process is called as flipping of proton if okay? the transition of proton from one energy level to another energy level is called flipping of proton so what we will do in NMR spectroscopy, so for, we will keep the proton in uh, radio wave region, that means we will keep the substance in the radio wave region and we will change the external magnetic field frequency. The frequency of radio waves remains constant but we will change the external magnetic field frequency. So there is, so at this, uh, there is some point where this nuclear frequency that means what the nuclear frequency of this proton becomes matches with the radio wave frequency. Okay, so when we are changing the external field, what will happen? Uh, the frequency of this, uh, nuclear frequency of this proton matches with the radio wave frequency. That point is called as nuclear magnetic resonance. Okay, so this nuclear magnetic resonance is main reason behind the NMR principle. So different uh, protons will show uh, different uh, environment. That means what? It gives different frequency related to the protons. So, basing on this frequency, we can define the strength of the different protons in the given organic compound. Now, let us see about the equivalent and non-equivalent protons. So, equivalent protons gives a single signal in the NMR spectra. And non-equivalent protons gives different signals in the NMR spectra. Okay, so let us see what is the equivalent proton. The protons within the molecule which pose the same magnetic environment. So these protons are bonded to same or similar atoms. So that means what these protons gives a, a same signal in the NMR spectra because they uh, having they are having a same magnetic environment. That means that gives absorption at the same magnetic strength okay they absorb radio waves at same magnetic strength for example i'm taking methane so you can see methane it is having four protons all four protons attached to same atom same element so it gives a single signal in the nmr spectrum you can observe ethylene so c double bond c so if you see both sides this carbon these uh, hydrogens are attached to the Similar carbon element, the carbon is having equal magnetic strength because it is bonded to double bond. Okay, so each all these four protons gives the same signal. And next, estylene, if you observe, even in estylene, this hydrogen is bonded to triply bonded carbon. So you can observe same environment, same magnetic field in both the protons. So together, these two protons gives one signal in the NMR spectrum. Okay. Next, see, let us see non-equivalent protons. The protons which are in different magnetic environments. That means they are chemically unequivalent. They are not equivalent in nature. 
that means they give, they absorb uh, radiations at different magnetic strengths. So for example, CH3OH. So here, three protons are related to one carbon and you can see one proton is related to oxygen, bonded to oxygen. So this proton gives uh, one signal, this proton gives another signal. Separate signals will be produced in two different protons. So you are getting two different environments in this methanol structure. Okay, because carbon is having different electronegativity, oxygen is having different electronegativity. So, basing on their electronegativities, they will show de-shielding and shielding and gives different signal in the spectrum. So, next class, we will discuss what is shielding and de-shielding. Next, see, uh, you can see this is uh, ethanol, ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol, you can see three different sets of the protons. Three, uh, one hydrogen bonded to oxygen. Next, uh, hydrogens, two hydrogens are somewhat near to this oxygen and this CH3 is completely far away from the oxygen. So this CH3 gives all these protons, three protons gives one signal and these two protons gives one signal and this H gives separate signal. So three signals will be observed for ethanol. Okay, next see this is ether, diethyl ether. Okay, so if you observe this CH2 groups are nearly uh, same. They are at same distance to the oxygen. So both are in equal environment. So they are giving one signal. That means this CH2, CH2 gives a signal, signal A. And next if you observe this CH3, this CH3 equal, they are in equal distance from this oxygen. So they give different separate signal that is the signal B. Okay, there are two signals, A signal and B signal in this, in this case of diethyl ether. Okay, the protons which are in the same magnetic environment and chemically equivalent protons are equivalent protons. Okay, non-equivalent protons are nothing but they are in different magnetic environment. Okay, so this is about the principle of NMR and equivalent and non-equivalent protons. Thank you so much for watching.